Thank y'all for tuning in with Sagar's Wisdom for my review of the Afro Goddess Oracle by Andrea Futik. Okay. This is a beautiful Oracle card deck. I love it. The energy off of it. She also has a tarot deck. I'm going to be reviewing that next. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this channel. Also, you can find me on Instagram, everyone. Um, you can follow me on there to interact with me more on there. And I also do tarot readings, astrology readings. Um, I do an offer a lot. Just hit the book button in my Instagram video and um, take a look at everything I offer and you'll be amazed. Okay, this is some of the things that comes in the uh, with this purchase. I think it's for like $65, this deck. You get the um, beautiful deck, magnet. She has a message on the inside. Savor the essence of the journey. For in the silence we listen, and in the stillness we feel, but only within the darkness can we truly see the light. Okay, she does a little private little message for you. Um, it's very beautiful. I love the energy. I forgot this oracle. Love it. You give a pamphlet. A lot of people complain about that, you know, it's too small. You can't see it. So she includes a magnifying glass with it. Also, you get um, a carrying case, a tote bag, put your cards and stuff in, beautiful. With the orc cords, it looks like it's green, and with the tarot, it's going to be red, it looks like, okay? Let's get into it, of this review of Andreas Futik, the Afro Goddess Orc cords, okay? Thank y'all for tuning in. Don't forget to check out all the other review of um, tarot and oracle card uh, videos I do on my channel. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share this channel, which plenty the universe always come back to you. So spread some love, y'all. You know, let's let's keep this good, positive energy going around in these harsh <sighs> times we're in right now. The astrology of this time is very, very intense, rare, and raw, especially with Mars and Aries for the next six months it's very, very raw right now closing out this year a lot of uh charged aspects a lot of squares until the end of the year so y'all be on y'all p's and q's don't overreact flow trust god your ancestors your spirit team and um we'll be okay we ain't been through worse and remember death is just an illusion so people that are dying trust me there's other dimensions other worlds everyone will be okay y'all please believe it. everyone will be okay so we're going to get into this um, beautiful deck. You can feel the energy off of the cards. It's amazing. I love her uh, oracle cards. The anchor. Okay. The ring. So y'all please, you know, leave a comment below. Let me know if y'all like this deck. Please comment. And let me know what you feel. Fox, how beautiful she hand makes these that's why they're so expensive she really puts her all her energy her time into her work so please support this beautiful nubian queen y'all i love these oracle cards one of my favorite oracle decks in my top 10 honey yes she's in my top 10 of my oracle cards you can feel it's um, like a matte finish on this side, laminated in the back. So this is a good lifespan. I'm feeling collapse your good six, seven years, probably longer if you take care of them. Um, it's very beautiful, very flowing. You can tell from the detail of uh, this oracle. I love the way she breaks it down in the. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't get, go through the guidebook. The guidebook, okay. So, in the beginning, like she does a quick review. I love when they do that. Take it. So, you can learn them real fast. She do a spread. She give a breakdown of a spread. How to use them. Um, the meaning is like on, only on one page. Looks like one page. Okay. But again, if you can't see the writing, she includes uh, a magnifying glass with the 
cards. Okay, you know, y'all know how I do. I don't pull that many because if you're here, you've been researching, you should know by now if you're going to get this deck or not. If you're a powerful intuitive tarot reader, psychic, you should know if the deck is speaking to you or not, if it's resonating or not, okay? And if it doesn't, you don't have to be rude or nasty. Just, you know, keep it pushing. Move along. Find a deck that resonates with your energy field and who you are, okay? I'm going to pull four more cards so you can get a good feel. Or was she taking this deck? Okay. Okay. My last card. Child. Okay. I'm going to pull a card. Look at that. I'm going to pull a card. And let's see what Spirit has to say for the people. Let's watch this video, Spirit. What message do you have for the collective that's watching this video? What messages you have for someone that's watching this video spirit? Show me one card that's for someone. Oh, 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 oh. I had a feeling she was going to come back out. I like the book too, but I saw the child. Oh, the first card out the deck. Anchor. That we talked about. So let's get into the child. This looks like a number 13 card. So it's like a giving out Scorpio vibe. The Scorpio number is 13 in the tarot. Uh, let's see. The quick message of the child is 13. Child. New starts. A kid. Innocence. And experience. For the situation. Okay. So we're patient. Let's go. 13. Okay. The child is the card of new beginnings. A child is born in existence without any physical experiences and have only their intuition and the aid of the parents to guide them. On their own, they are excited for all there is to see and do in this big new place they have arrived in. But unfortunately, their natural inexperiences, immaturity, and irresponsibility can cause them to often stumble and fall along the way but also in the nature of the child when she falls she gets back up and continues to play a new experience of some sort could be coming go into it with a playful and joyous attitude and even if you fall and scrape your knee you will heal learn and grow out of that childish occurrences and mature into a wise a wise adult this card can also represent an actual existing child or new child to come. If it's in love, a new love could be coming for or a fresh start in an existing love will occur. Be excited at the joys and experiences to be had. If it's in a career, a new job or career could be headed your way. Health, childhood, like illnesses, like chicken pox, etc. that she got. Okay, so I love the interpretations. It's quick. It's not that lengthy. She gets straight to the point. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. And I love where you could pull like more than one of these oracle cards and get a full like description, a full breakdown. I love her oracle cards the way she got them, and um, her vision is very clear the way she wanted it to perceive. It has a gold outline around them. As you can see, it's real pretty. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, I hope that message touched someone to give someone some clarity, some insight they may have needed about a fresh start, a new child, or um, their health could be coming into place. So, um, be kind to yourself. That's the first thing the Spirit is telling me to relate to y'all. Be kind to yourself. Be patient in the times we're in. And we're in new territory, so we all are like childlike experience, especially the president. So, give the president some patience, y'all, you know. Remember, God, source has him in place for a reason. Really watch the actions, because I watch his his, his um, broadcast tonight, and it really is like the Democrats are blocking the stimulus checks, the, the, the money we need, and he's trying to get it. If he was careless or evil, he wouldn't be trying. Yeah, he may have his own agenda behind it, but he's still trying to get the people money, you know? But y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment, like, share, subscribe. 
Oh, that's beautiful. I just love this deck, y'all. It's amazing. I love it. I love it. Thank you for tuning in with Say God's Wisdom. Please follow me on Instagram. And be blessed.